1,029, 1,030, 1,031, 1,032. What year you graduate? 1967, 1968, 1969, 1970, 71, 72. As I was talking to one of my friends, RT, the subject came up that a lot of YouTubers perhaps spend too much time worrying about the megapixels and maybe the technical aspects of camera gear. And I would have to agree with them. Unless you're, of course, if you're in the field or in the business of having to know all the technical information, like say you're a, a rep for a big camera manufacturer and you have to go to trade shows and you have to explain and you try to sell your camera gear to your clients, well, you definitely have to know all about the gear. And certainly before you buy your camera, you want to take a look at all the technical specs. Make sure that this camera is right for you. I get that. But once you get the camera, and then it's time to really start learning photography. If you're a photo enthusiast studying the craft and you want to master photography as best as you can, whether it's for self-satisfaction or perhaps you want to earn an extra income from photography, or maybe say you're photographing, you're selling something, you're photographing a product. Well, guess what? You want that product to be so much better than your competition, don't you? So you want to learn to photograph it better than anybody else is. Or perhaps you want to uh, start a wedding photography business or doing portraits. That's when you really have to study all the different aspects of photography and how it relates to portrait photography or, say, wedding photography. There are so many different things in photography that's worth learning. And a lot of people may not realize that at first because simply, I think too many people think, oh, you just press the button and that's it. But there's a good saying that goes, you don't know what you don't know. And take lighting as an example. You know, there are just so many different forms and different ways that you can light things. Actually, last night, I made a list of several different things on, on lighting. So let me just read that to you. You have natural light, studio strobe light, tungsten light, LED and fluorescent light, speed light from your camera's flash. You can use light as a main light source or use it as a fill, as a kicker light. You can bounce it, reflect it, diffuse it, color it with gels or filters. You can even block it. And there's probably a few more that I missed. With the dynamic range that we're now getting from our cameras, whether it's the DSLRs or mirrorless, and the super high quality images that we're getting from these high ISOs in low light situations, it is now time to stop counting pixels and start taking pictures. Thank you very much. 23,421,044, 23,421,044, 46. Out of hell with it. <laughs>